What pops into your mind when we talk, say, royals, enormous wealth and influential power, or maybe huge palaces? What if we tell you there are some royals in the world who not only have normal jobs, but also have settled careers? Now the question is, do you know who these royals are and do they enjoy their normal job? Probably not, but don't worry. In today's video, we bring you the list of the royals who have regular jobs and careers. So without further ado, let's start. At number 10 is the princess who made it to the big screen. We're talking about the Princess of Greece and Denmark's Princess Theodora. And when it comes to her career, she makes her career in acting and plays. This 39-year-old princess is the daughter of Constantine II of Greece and Anna Marie of Denmark. From an early age, the princess was interested in art and plays. After completing her Bachelor of Arts on May 28, 2006 in Theater Arts, she moved to Los Angeles to pursue her acting career. She appeared in multiple supporting roles under the name Theodora Greece. In 2011, she got a big break when she appeared in a famous television show, The Bold and the Beautiful. And since then, this talented princess has worked on more than 17 movies. At number 9, we're moving on to Britain to meet this talented royal who stunned the world with her equestrian game. We're talking about Zara Anne Elizabeth Tyndall. Zara was born on May 15, 1981 to mother Princess Anne and father Captain Mark Phillips, who's an Olympic gold medalist horseman. While growing up, Zara held her father as a role model and wanted to be an Olympic gold medalist like him. After her studies, Phillips began to pursue an equestrian career in 2003, and in the early stages of her career, she even managed to secure a big sponsor, which helped her to cover the costs of her equestrian career and continue her game. In 2003, she finished runner-up in the Burgley Horse Trials. In 2006, Princess Zara won the Eventing World Championship in Aachen, and in that same year, she was even voted 2006 BBC Sports Personality of the Year. Zara is still actively connected to the game, where she guides new players to develop their game. At number 8, Prince Joachim of Denmark is a farmer. Denmark has seen many royals, but not like Prince Joachim. He's a farmer and ex-military personnel of Denmark. Prince Joachim was born in 1969 to the Queen of Denmark, Margrethe II. The prince was interested in farming from the beginning, even his field of study was agrarian economics. He started his career in 1987 when he was recruited into the Queen's Life Regiment. This led him to a long military journey where he became a lieutenant colonel in 2011. But the love for farming never left him after retiring from the military. The prince turned to farming again where his focus was on industrial agriculture. Now he owns and runs farming and forestry operations, but all his personal work doesn't stop this 53-year-old prince from fulfilling his royal duties. The prince is believed to act as regent in the absence of his mother and his brother, heir apparent, Prince Frederick. At number 7 is Princess Michael of Kent. She was born on January 15, 1945 in Karlovy Vary in the Czech Republic. Princess Michael is a distant relative of the head of the British royal family, King Charles of the UK. The princess is married to Prince Michael of Kent, who also belongs to the British royal family, and he is 51st in the line of succession. The princess rarely takes part in any royal duties, and she gets no allowances for being the princess. But the princess leads a royal life as she is a renowned author in the United Kingdom. Before marrying the Prince of Kent, she even worked as an interior designer. However, she's a full-time author now. Princess Michael published her first book, Crowned in a Far Country, in 1986. Since then, the princess has released multiple books, some fiction and some historical nonfiction books, which have been published by HarperCollins. At number 6 is Prince Nikolai. Here comes another royal from the Danish royal family. This is Prince Nikolai. He is the grandson of the Queen of Denmark and he is currently fifth in the line of succession. The prince was born in 1999 to Prince Joachim of Denmark, the eldest son of Queen Magretta II. From childhood, Prince Joachim desired his son to focus on his studies and have a normal life. It must be noted that despite being a member of the royal house, the prince receives no allowance from the government nor does he inherit his father's wealth. So, to further support his studies, Prince Nikolai became a model. According to reports in 2008, he signed a modeling contract with the local agency Scoop Models. He regularly tours foreign countries like Tokyo, Paris, and Germany. He even walked alongside high-profile celebrities like Cara Delevingne in London Fashion Week. Moving on to the next royal is the Princess of York. This is Eugenie Victoria Helena. She is one of the famous members of the British royal family who often makes headlines in the UK. She was born on March 23, 1990 to Prince Andrew, Duke of York. Prince Andrew always wanted his girls to have an independent life and he encouraged the princess to have a good career. From childhood, the princess was interested in arts but she knew she didn't want to be a painter. As she grew up, she graduated with a bachelor's degree in English literature and history of art from Newcastle University and it was later in her life that she realized she wanted to run an art gallery. The princess started her career at the auction house Paddle 8, 
where she planned special projects, supported the artists in the gallery, and managed events. After that, she joined the art gallery Hauser & Wirth as the director. At number 4 is a self-made royal from the United Kingdom who is known for her beauty, her style, and most importantly, for her acting skills. Yes, we're talking about Rachel Meghan Markle, also known as the Duchess of Sussex. She's the wife of Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, who's the son of King Charles III. She met Prince Harry in 2016, and after dating the prince for three years, she got married to him in 2018 and became a member of the British royal family. Meghan was born in an American family. Her father, Thomas Markle, was a light director of films. As she began to grow, her love for acting grew on her. Then, she moved to Los Angeles where she found roles where she showcased her talent for acting. Of course, her well-known work till now comes from an American TV legal drama series called Suits. This year, she's done some exciting new projects coming up where she has signed a $25 million contract with Spotify for her new show in which she'll be co-hosting with her husband. At number 3 is Princess Elizabeth von Thurnen Taxis. Having a regular life for a royal is quite a different thing, and it is a troublesome business for royals, but Princess Elizabeth makes it look easy. She was born in 1982 to Johannes, the 11th Prince of Thurn and Taxis. This German princess is a journalist, author, socialite, and art collector. Being a princess, she got all the attention but wanted to have a career just like every common person. Princess Elizabeth's work ranges in a wide spectrum from blogging to writing books. The princess has penned her famous blog, The Princess Diaries, which tackles the princess's daily life problems like buying groceries or picking up a correct outfit. She was also a style editor at large for Vogue, and she has written a book called The Faith of Children. Princess Elizabeth, who is known in the press as Princess TNT, short for Thurn and Taxis, has made a great career out of her passion for writing and journalism. At number two is David Lindley. This super nice royal has found a career in furniture making. We're talking about David Lindley, a distant relative of Queen Elizabeth III and grandson of King George VI. David was born in 1961 to Princess Margaret and his father, Anthony Armstrong Jones. David didn't stay in the public eye while growing up, nor did he receive a special allowance in his life. As he grew up, he started growing interest in furniture. David wanted to create and design furniture for the next generation, which led him to choose a career in furniture making. He founded his company, David Lindley Furniture Limited, in 1985 when he was just 25 years of age. His company produces bespoke furniture and upholstery and also makes interior design products, which are known for their neoclassical appearance and use of inlaid wood. Apart from this furniture business, David writes books, gives lectures, and he also runs restaurants in Chelsea and London. At number one is a princess who is independent and represents the modern working-class woman. It is Princess Beatrice, and she belongs to the British royal family. You might have seen royals of the United Kingdom making headlines, yet you rarely see anything of Princess Beatrice. And that is because the princess led quite a normal life. The princess was born in 1988 to Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and it was the prince's wish for his daughter to have a normal job and normal life. The princess completed her degree in history at Goldsmiths, the University of London, in 2011, and then she joined the workforce and got a normal job. According to her LinkedIn profile, Princess Beatrice worked as an analyst for Sony Pictures Entertainment Incorporated between 2015 and 2016. She's currently working as a vice president at a software company called Affinity, where her role is to develop the business and manage the business strategy of the company. This princess has a well-settled job and represents ordinary working-class women, but has an extraordinary devotion to her work. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below your favorite part and let us know. Also, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates.